Gokos flat. It is a mystical place because the plot of the master in Margarita was taken from his own life. A lot of mystical things happened here. Пошли идти. Hey girls, we're here. Walls and walls, I'm sure it's all writings. I haven't even noticed it. Oh, it's interesting. Very interesting. The cats. Have you what? from the book. All the abstracts. <laughs> oh, rather interesting. Yes. See, the cat. Black cat. <laughs> and this right here. I am sitting in a house to meet us. Okay. Look there, <laughs> the steps of the cat, <laughs> there, oh my god, he is walking on the, not on the floor, <laughs> look here, but on the ceiling as well. What is Yulia, my It's me? <laughs> Where is your cat? <laughs> I don't know. And also, uh, some pupils left note here. Один студент школы номер 27 проходит свой последний год вместе в нехорошей квартире. This flat, the flat number 50. Uh, there is some information uh, which says that uh, the flat number 50 was not always a scary one or a bad flat, but you see, it never belonged to one person. Uh, in Russia, we have uh, such a uh, notion as a uh, kommunalka. Uh, kommunalka, it is uh, something uh, about which we spoke about. Uh, the, a flat. Uh, you see, in a flat there are a lot of rooms uh, and uh, usually one person or a family has a flat and there are a lot of rooms. Uh, but when we speak about kommunalka, uh, we mean that there is one flat and there are a lot of rooms and a lot of people live in this flat in different rooms. So. No, it's a great surprise for us. At least only one room is in the bright colors, <laughs> not in black. Yes. There are strange pictures you can see. What, is, what do you think do you see the black? I think uh, these are illustrations. From the yeah. book? Yeah, from the book. It's the ball. Yeah. It's Margarita, the cat, mm -hmm. and the guests. Yeah, it's rather interesting. But, uh, and uh, 
And on the other wall, there is also pictures, so strange figures and the man. It's atmosphere of Bulgaka here, the dark one, mysterious. Look, they're written. Celia Jensky featuring Platic Ksenia in a bowl. Do you think that they really could wear something like this? <laughs> Especially uh, the, if you notice that uh, Margarita was naked at the ball. <laughs> Other guests wore in the dresses. Uh, yeah. mm. That's fantastic. Here we are at the blue cabinet. And in this blue cabinet was Master in Margarita created. You will ask why blue color? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's simple. It was fashionable at those times. <laughs> Everything is simple. Here you can see not only blue walls, even a blue walls. How do you think? Is it a mystic? Mm -hmm. yes. Or oh, maybe... Maybe at this machine? Might it have a little bit of fact? <laughs> it is funny because, you see, it is the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Yes, однажды весной в частный звал жаркого заката в Москве на Бакляшек Пуда появилось два гражданина. Это мастер и Юля, привет на сто лет. А мы здоровались. Ты понимаешь, что мы обошли дерево с двух сторон, чтобы не поссориться, нужно обязательно сказать привет на сто лет. А, ну тогда привет. Ты не выучила, как теперь. Ты представляешь, что не сдашь? Да ты чё? Ой. У нас есть такая примета, чтобы что-нибудь не сбылось, нужно поплевать через левое плечо и постучать почему-нибудь деревянному. Уже не верю, чтобы в это. не сглазить. А еще у нас есть в России примета. Если кошка умывается, кто-то в гости собирается. И правда работает же. Мы рассмотрели лишь некоторые суверия в России. Мы провели небольшой опрос и выяснили, что думают жители России о приметах. Мнения жителей нашей страны разделились. Некоторые считают, что суеверие – это часть русской культуры, и их нужно сохранять. Другая половина людей считает, что от них нужно избавляться. Что по этому вопросу думаете вы? Увидимся, Увидимся в следующем подкасте.